There's so much to unpick in Laura. I, I always want to call her Laura Newsberg, but I think her name is actually Laura Quensberg um, this morning on the BBC. She was interviewing, they, they, she has these three people who do a report on the news. And she was interviewing one fellow called Fraser. He was utterly brilliant. Uh, she introduced the program by saying that um, uh, Boris has gone all Trump, uh, that Matt Hancock was trying to frighten the pants off the public. These headlines from the big newspapers. And then Fraser came in and he talked about the flippant atmosphere which had been created in number 10. Uh, sending the police after other people, ordinary people, and yet having parties on their own. Uh, a, a testimony to the hypocrisy of the Covid government. And the, the facts are the facts. Uh, you know, the, uh, the, the same reality was identified by both the police and then by Sue Gray. They found the same facts... Um, twice. Evidence of a toxic culture and uh, that, um, that these people supposedly in charge, this elite group with huge powers which they'd given themselves were laughing at the rest of us. And the language of the leaks, this is the, 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 this was the sort of stuff that was coming out this morning, the, the sort of lines that were being said, the language of the leaks, suggest uh, that the elites had contempt for the public. Hypocrisy on a grand scale, and it's hypocrisy which, uh, in Fraser's words, has undermined this government. I could not have put it better myself, really. I it just superbly um, observed and superbly and succinctly put. Hypocrisy has undermined this government. And more than that, Rishi Sunak is as tied up in that hypocrisy as everybody else. One must not forget that he was also fined.